Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Raina Ray. We're learning about the Sierra Club Missouri's chapter with director John Hickey. And when we went to break, we were talking about how it all comes together in one big ball that affects the way we live. Exactly. And that is why the Sierra Club exists. We have thousands of, of members and supporters in the city of St. Louis who come together as volunteers to work for clean air and to address the public health. What are we doing? Well, right now, the Clean Air Act is carried out by the Environmental Protection Agency, or the EPA. Uh, the new president, President Trump, wants to cut the EPA budget, which means that there will be less enforcement of the Clean Air Act. And as we talked about previously, we've already got bad air. We don't need to let it become worse. So as the Sierra Club, we are fighting to restore the cuts to the Environmental Protection Agency so we can have clean air and clean water. We are also opposing the nomination of Neil Gorsuch to the U.S. Supreme Court because his track record is to come down on the side of the big corporations and not the regular citizens. And so those are two key public policy issues, the EPA budget and the Supreme Court, where as a Sierra Club we're trying to influence our government to do the right thing. So tell those of us who are watching and don't really know exactly what is the EPA Act. The, uh, the Clean Air right, Act. Right, the Clean Air Act. The Clean Air Act was passed in 1970, and that's the, the law that sets standards to make sure that the air we breathe is safe. And like any law, you need to have an enforcement mechanism or else it'll be ignored. And the EPA is their job to enforce the Clean Air Act. And in fact, the EPA just had to sue Ameren Electric because of air pollution from one of their coal plants here in Metro St. Louis. And a federal judge right here in the city of St. Louis found in favor of the EPA and said, yes, the EPA is right. Ameren is uh, violating the Clean Air Act, and it needs to clean up the pollution that's coming out of its smokestacks. Why is that, again, so important? Well, because two things. One, air pollution creates public health problems, kids' asthma. It creates uh, heart attacks and stroke. It also leads to heat wave deaths and because the carbon pollution will increase temperatures and that means hotter temperatures, that means more heat deaths. That's significant in the city of St. Louis because we have so many old brick buildings. What's interesting is you walk around and you really don't think about the air that you're, uh, well, very few people probably think about the air that I'm breathing and who's out there making sure that it's clean. Exactly, exactly. And that's why we need a strong EPA. That's also why we need a strong and fair federal court system. As I mentioned, a federal judge here in St. Louis uh, found in favor of the Environmental Protection Agency requiring Ameren to clean up the pollution from its Rush Island coal plant. But if the Supreme Court, if President Trump is able to stack the Supreme Court with people who will ignore environmental laws, then we won't have a fair court to go to to make sure that the laws are implemented. So the natural question to ask right now is what can the average citizen do to do their part? Well, we have, live in a democracy. We have two U.S. Senators here in the state of Missouri that we elect to go to Washington, D.C. and vote on our behalf. We should ask those two U.S. Senators to vote no on Neil Gorsuch's nomination for the Supreme Court. Luckily, one of our senators, Senator McCaskill, has already come out and said she's going to vote no on Gorsuch. But we have two senators, and Senator Blunt has not committed to vote against Gorsuch. So I would encourage our viewers to contact Senator Blunt and ask him to stand up for the people and stand up for public health and not stand up for this special interest nominee to our Supreme Court. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being with us today and making us aware of the issue with our ecosystem and what we can do to do our part to help. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. The Sierra Club Missouri chapter's purpose is to practice and promote the responsible use of the Earth's ecosystems and resources. The Sierra Club Missouri chapter is located at 2818 Sutton Boulevard. And if you need more information, you can call 314 644 1011 or visit sierraclub.org slash Missouri. There's more STL Live after this. Stay with us.